Today we're going to talk about finding your seeds per pound number. Having the correct seeding rate on your fields can create a huge economic impact to the profitability of your crop. When you have a seeds per pound number, you can hit an accurate seeding rate. If you're targeting 1.6 million, you can set up your drill for exactly that. Seeding in bushels just isn't acceptable anymore. You'll need this number at many, multiple times in the year. You're going to need the number when you order your seed, but remember, it's an estimated number. Every single seed lot is going to be different. You'll then need this number when you receive your specific seed lot. You can check from in multiple places for it. You're going to possibly need this number when you're heading out to calibrate your drill, and you might even need this number after seeding for confirmation that you've done an accurate job. When you're ordering your seed, we've taken long-term numbers, uh, average numbers, and put them into our, both our website and our seed guide. On the website, if you check the right side on each variety page, you'll see our long-term average. This will be as long of term average as we can possibly find. Multiple years, multiple sites, multiple situations. On dry years, this number may go higher. On wet years, this number may go lower. In your seed guide, you'll also see it listed with our long-term average number. This will help you order close to enough seed. When you actually receive your seed, it's important to double check these numbers. It'll be listed on bags in two situations. It'll be on a label on a skid, and it'll also be printed on a bag. This lot of crews is 14,354 seeds per pound. On a tote bag, it'll be listed in the plastic pouch affixed to the tote, and it'll have a very accurate number listed in the approximate number of seeds per pound. When you pick up bulk seed, it will also be listed in two places. Number one, on the paperwork that you receive with the bulk seed. Number two, on the tag that you receive to go out with your bulk seed. When you have a seeds per pound number, remember to visit seedingrate.ca. Enter your identifying information if you intend to share the sheet. Enter your acres, your seed size, your target rate in, in million seeds per acre, your seeder row width, and the price and you'll be given some excellent information to help you decide just how much seed you need. Remember to add a few bags to that number so you're not returning in the middle of the night searching for seed. Thanks for being serious about wheat, and good luck this fall.